Luke, use the force to wipe my booty. I'm too old for this now. And that's right. I'm the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You. We're here to talk about Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill, retiring the character. Now, this is not the first time that Mark Hamill has retired one of his famous characters. He did retire from the Joker, although he did say a little bit different. He was saying that it took a toll on his voice, so it was much harder for him to do. But in a recent interview... And this is from Fox News Reports. But the interview, I think it was on CBS. He mulls Star Wars retirement. They don't need Luke. Even though the only thing that people cared about on The Mandalorian was Luke. And then when you took away Luke, people got very sad. Very sad indeed. But let's take a look at the article here. And it says, Mark Hamill mulls Star Wars retirement. They don't need Luke. He's ready to hang up his lightsaber. This was CBS Sunday morning, and he's happy with his legacy, and the content should be done with Luke Skywalker. You know, I had my time, and that's good, but that's enough. Uh, he did appear as the younger version of Luke in The Mandalorian, and as old Jake Skywalker in Rise of Skywalker. The 71-year-old thinks the franchise is ready to move on as well. I mean, you know... Han Solo was like 80 when he was doing his, and he didn't necessarily leave. You know, you've got Harrison Ford still kicking it as Indiana Jones. You know, Mark, you've got plenty of more time to play a Force ghost. And he says this. He says, well, you never say never. I just don't see any reason to. Let me put it that way. I mean, they have so many stories to tell. They don't need Luke anymore. All of those stories are failing. <laughs> Who? The Mandalorian <laughs> dropped off a cliff. And now you've got shows that I don't know that anyone's really excited to see Ahsoka. If anyone even knows who that is, not one word was spoken about uh, that the second season of uh, those Jedi stories, what, uh, whatever that was called. I, I didn't even hear like anybody review it. And he says, uh, he goes on to say, the truth of the matter is I never really expected to be remembered for anything. I just wanted to make a living doing what I liked. And I thought it could be worse. I could be known as being the best actor who ever played Adolf Hitler. At least Luke is an admirable fellow. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, so he just seems to be thinking that he's not going to do it anymore. Seems a little seems a little strange. Um, why he would just do... I mean, he's still acting. He's in the machine with Burt Kreischer. I wonder if it had anything to do with... A rumor, and this is from Bounding Into Comics. Rumor, Lucasfilm claims Luke Skywalker is not a significant part of the matrix of new content going forward. Hmm, interesting. What is this about? Well, it appears that uh, Lucasfilm has given directives that Luke Skywalker will not be a significant part of the content going forward. This was specifically yep. taken out of uh, a meeting with Hasbro a consult and a consulting firm um, as to whether or not they could sell additional Luke Skywalker characters. In fact, they just announced the new Ray focused movie, which didn't, those toys like don't sell at all. Uh, it looks like he's a cob webbed character. He's a museum piece. He sells, but is not a significant part of the matrix of new content going forward. So if Grogu is going to stay with Luke, then you lose Grogu. He's out of sight with the exception of a glance of glancing exposure. So he could occasionally be used as cameos, but nothing significant. Um, and this is all from uh, WDW Pro. And he got it from an inside source, apparently. Which, it all makes sense, though. It all seems to match. Uh, the page has turned on Luke Skywalker. Lucasfilm said regarding current me active media cameos and on-screen references to him are the best anyone can expect going forward. Nothing more. Don't ask. All the way from Kathleen Kennedy. Now think about this. You don't think they could have sold a Luke and Grogu like toy set that people would have bought? I think so. But apparently Lucasfilm does not. And I think the word may have been 
made all the way to Mark Hamill because Mark seems to be on the inside of things. He had some pretty clear uh, public disagreements with Ryan Johnson on The Last Jedi. And it seems like he may be asking, like, oh, am I, is there any plans in the new Ray thing? Maybe for me to be a Force ghost or something like that if she's starting her own Jedi Academy? I would say they shut that down, that he was not going to do it. And, uh, or they're not even going to, you know, bother to CGI him in. I'm not sure. Uh, it seems like all the original characters are part of that, too. The original trilogy characters are stuck in the past, good for stunt cameos and for legitimizing new characters and stories. However, various partners believe that if they become desperate enough that Luke Skywalker can be used as a Hail Mary. I don't think that's going to happen anywhere. Now, the only thing that could happen, depending on how Indiana Jones goes, and we've all talked about this for years and years and years, will Kathleen Kennedy still be able to hang on and we did, in fact, find out that some things in the future, we were, or some things in the past, but we were wrong about. Apparently, we were wrong about the forces female. That was a, and I'm willing to admit that I was wrong. When they showed that, the forces female stuff, it was from a different campaign for a shoe. It had nothing to do with the, uh, it's, it's weird that the head of Lucasfilm would show up there and they'd make her wear a shirt that says the forces female. And you wouldn't think that that would have anything to do with anything. Um, but, you know, either way, clearly they're moving away from, from doing that. And, you know, it seems like John Farva is moving further away, too. So who knows exactly where it's all going. But it seems like somebody probably told Luke, well, told, told Mark Hamill, hey, we're not going to need your services in the near future. I'm sure he went to them and said, hey, I heard you're announcing this Ray thing. You guys interested in having me be a part of it? I'd be curious. I got to clear my schedule out or whatever. Looks like a big no. So, what do you guys think? Do you think this is the end of Luke Skywalker? Will we ever see him again? Will it just be for little tiny cameos? I don't know. Tell me what you think about this. Are you upset about it? Do you think, you know, it's time for Mark Hamill to hang it up? I mean, the man's still clearly acting. I think if he wanted to do it, he could. But either way, let me know your, uh, your thoughts. Comments below. We read all the comments. I want you to also check out our full-length audio podcast. You can get that for free at iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places and more. We also join a live, or we have a live stream here on YouTube. Come join us. It's fun. It's Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for hanging out with me and listening. But I am on to the next one. <laughs>